How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 12 in my programming Leap Motion with Python series. Last video we did our screen tap gesture. Today we're going over our final gesture that's part of the Leap Motion library, which is the key tap gesture. Now I'll just to show you what that is. Open up a new Google Chrome window. Key tap gesture. So it's basically quickly moving your finger down and then back up again as if you're typing on your keyboard, I guess. That's what it's supposed to uh, represent. And let's just go over how to detect it, what data we can get from it. So first, if gesture dot type equals equals leap dot gesture dot type underscore key underscore tap all capital letters for that type and we're going to go with a colon to end our if statement and now inside here first we have to do is um, typecast our general gesture object to a key tap gesture object so we're going to call this key tap set it equal to key tap gesture and we are going to pass in as our parameter gesture. Now we're just going to print out some data we can get from this. So print and first thing we're going to print out is the key tap ID. Each key tap has its own uh, ID number. So key tap ID and since this is a number that's getting returned, we have to convert this to a string, so str. And we're going to pass in gesture.id. So we have to get the ID number from the general gesture object. Just remember that. Next, we are going to include the state of our key tab. So state. And then set it equal to self dot state underscore names and inside square brackets our index number will actually be a constant which is gesture dot state and now that we have the state we're going to move on to the position so the position where the key tap gesture is detected at um, and for that okay for that we're going to call upon key tap dot position now uh, what gets returned is actually a vector object and in Java we could have just printed out the vector and it would have returned a string representation well in Python you can't do that so we have to convert it to a string okay and now our final thing that we're going to be uh, printing out is the direction of the key tap. So which direction the finger is moving in. So direction. And once again it's going to return a vector so we have to convert to a string. Uh, key tap dot direction. Okay. And save this. Now here we go. This is from the last tutorial I just did. Um, I'm just going to quit out and then relaunch our program. Uh, oops, I was already quit out. Okay, so clear. And now let's relaunch this. So I'm already in the folder, obviously, where uh, I have this saved. And let's launch it. So to launch it, Python leap motion app.py, as long as you named your file the same as me. And hit enter. And it does what we want so initialize press enter to quit and then motion sensor connected now uh, it did detect a swipe gesture as I move my hand back but now let's do a couple key tap gestures so there we go okay well it got a swipe there for some reason but you can see the three key tap gestures it did get so I'm gonna hit enter to exit out okay and let's look at some of the information here so each individual key tap had its own ID number 
So you can you can use that information to make sure that they're separate. Um, now the one thing I'd like to point out, this is very similar to our uh, screen tap gesture tutorial where I print out state. The only state that's ever going to show up here is state end. With a circle gesture, for example, or a swipe gesture, the first time that swipe or circle gesture is detected, it'll be state underscore start. Each consecutive one would be state underscore update as you continue swiping or continue drawing your circle. The last one detected will be state underscore stop. Or sorry, state underscore end. And the thing is, the key tap and the screen tap, you'll only ever get state underscore end from them because they're only detected once you finish the movement. So once you push forward for the screen tap or once you push down and back up quickly for the key tap, it's only detected right at the end once you complete that gesture. Whereas a circle, you can keep drawing a circle. Swipe, you can keep swiping until you go off the motion sensor's field of view. Now, moving on, let's look at the position vector. You can see the uh, vector um, of where the key tap was detected. And then direction, the direction in which my finger was moving in as uh, the key tap was detected. That's pretty much all the data you can get from a key tap gesture. Uh, Java, a lot more you can do with them. But in Python, that's all we can really get. Um, that's really all I have, for not only this video, but all I really have to teach you in this series. I've taught you pretty much everything you need to know. Um, so the different methods that are called throughout the cycle of the program. Um, getting frame data, hand data, arm data, um finger data, bone data, tool data, all that stuff. So I've taught you all that. The only thing I'm going to do now is in the final video, I'm going to show you how to use everything we learned here to make some sort of application, a mouse program, which will basically allow you to use your leap motion and your hand as a mouse. So that's pretty cool. Be sure to check out uh, when I do that. I'm not exactly sure when I'll have time to do that. But keep watching for it. For now, that's all I have for you. So remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.